what's up people welcome back to my channel my name is kitty welcome to my channel if you are new like this video subscribe for the vibe and ding the notification bell as well so you don't miss out when i post videos if this is not your first time being here what's up you guys sending lots of love loads of it your way catch it and receive it it's for you so today's video is going to be a super cool one a super awesome one one that's gonna really put you on a pedestal this is going to be a reading that highlights your strengths versus your weaknesses so if you're interested in this video then keep watching So I have three pals for you to choose from, so be sure to choose with your intuition. And please note that if more than one pile calls out to you, that is perfectly okay. That means there's a message there for you as well. So we are going to take our the read eight breaths, and I'm going to give you a moment to choose. Okay? Inhale. Exhale. <laughs> Inhale. So I'm going to start with the Iron Man. If you chose any of the other ones, I will see you there on your pal step. All right, you guys. If you chose the Iron Man, I feel like you are very um, intelligent when it comes to technology. I feel like you are highly intelligent. I feel like when it comes to like, I feel like when it comes to like your friend group, you are like the intelligent one, so to speak. Like they come to you for like. Um, to really pick your brain about some things because your perspective is like different So um, you are also very grounded and rooted. I feel like you are also someone who is very like protected as well with the suit of armor here So yeah, and I feel like you are very um, Abundant or you come off that way. Okay with this splash of gold there. Okay so let's just jump right into the cards. What are your strengths? Okay, yeah, you are very protective. Okay, like I said, protected. Leo gun. So you could be a Leo or you could just be um, a fire sign as well. Um, you could be an earth sign as well. Someone who is very grounded. Someone who is very confident um, with that um, Leo there. Someone who is very protective. Um yeah like very royal type of behavior very classy behavior okay um king of the beasts even if you are a female you have change of heart here so yes you may have been someone who resonated with or has like a dark past okay and you are um really just shifting like people don't even recognize you so to speak because of this transition that you're in the process over that you have gone through over the years okay so your strength is your ability to take whatever dark situation that you're in and evolve it and evolve into something better each time um kind of like iron man when with his suits like each time he's in a battle like he's able to improve and that's how like you are like you are very chill you got some like your hair something about your hair it could be like short it could be long it could be short or long but it's very like flowy it's very like you know it could be like this hairstyle i hope you can see that um it could be kind of like flowy like mane like that or it can be straight but like your hair is very nice i just gotta compliment your hair one time one time but a one time you also have like a heart of gold too pile number one that's what i'm saying too like you and you are someone who have who have been through like a lot like you've been through the trenches like you've been through a lot but each time you come out on top like this poison mummy like nothing really gets you down look at this L luck is on your side okay nothing really gets you uh, not saying that bad things don't happen it's just nothing really gets you down for long like you're always um on the up and up because you're improving yourself with every challenge with every struggle that you have you find a way to improve yourself lucky's on your side like i said you could be a fire sign you could be a sagittarius you could be a leo um you could be an earth sign as well 
then um, you know, forge, don't follow, pave a new path, be the leader you wish you had. So yes, that is your strength, like being able to be the leader in your life. And that's how people like see you. They see you as someone who is very in control, you know, and as someone who literally can make um, just very abundant, okay, like, and very protective, protective of yourself, or just protective of the people in your circle, but, like, yes, don't forge, okay, and don't, like, I mean, don't follow, <laughs> forge a path, you, you have the, like, you forge paths out of nowhere, and, and you are the leader that people follow, okay, and then you have weight here, it's not yet time. Things are being woven. So the message with that is to have patience, okay? To not rush things and to be patient because luck is on your side. You are doing a lot of things. If things are feeling like they're in the shadows, this is just as much as I wanted to come out. But if things are feeling like they're in the shadow, things are feeling like they're in pause and moment, that's because things are being woven. Okay, connect with fire. Okay, and then your ability, and you're warm, okay, you have, you're, you are a warm nature, okay, you're warm of nature, people feel at home and safe in your presence, okay, you make people feel in harmony and in balance just by being in your presence, pile number one, so that is what I'm getting for you, your strengths are very amazing, you have the ability to um, just shift your darkness into light and come out um, even better than you were before, more protected, more, you know, stronger, and just amazing, like nothing gets you down. So that's what I have for you, pal number one. If you like that, then definitely give me a like, subscribe, and ding the notification bell as well. Until next time. Okay, pal number two, if you chose the Swiss, uh, I believe Swiss army knife, I believe that you are a jack of all trades. Like there is a little bit of everything that you can do. You like to dibble and dabble into everything. Um, people come to you for all sorts of things or, you know, you just are very handy, you know, with a lot of things. There are a lot of things that you can do and a lot of things that you are capable of. You are very grounded and you are very reserved, okay? You pop out kind of like when you're needed and that's about it. <laughs> so let's see your strength, pile number two. Yeah, lots of red energy. So you are very grounded. You are someone who is very grounded, um, very reliable, I'm seeing Mm, malevolent nuzzler 2000 needles okay so you are someone who is very um creative too you could be a tattoo artist or you can be just um any form of artist because artist is very wide it, artist period is very diverse like i said like jack of all trades you could be um an artist of some kind Mm. Okay, an artist of some kind, very creative. You could be born in the year of the dragon. You could be very into mythological creatures. People feel like you are one of a kind too. Like male or female, you are gorgeous. You are gorgeous and you're like mysterious too. Um, so your strength is that you are creative. Okay, um, I do need to say, like, as far as your intentions, you may, this could even apply to the people that you are around, but um, just watch the intentions that you're putting out. Make sure that you are putting out what you want to get, okay? You have nothing will come of this situation. Ooh, you're also good at making something out of nothing, too. How number two. Loosen your grip, coping mechanisms, density, let God in. Okay, so pile number two, your strengths. And then you have sing in reverse. Okay, so pile number three, two, you might even resonate with pile number three because I was about to call you pile number three. But 
um, yes, you're talent. You're talented. You have many talents. Like I said, you could be a jack of all trades. Many things that you're interested in, and um, you have a. Because I want to focus on your strengths, but I just got to tell you that you got to loosen up your grip. You got to stop trying to be in control of everything, how things are going to play out, how things are going to unfold. Um, and when things don't go your way, stop kind of like having temper tantrums, like stop hurting yourself just because things didn't go your way, like loosen your grip, be more flexible, be more adaptable. Um, and this, my beautiful people, is saying to sing. You have a beautiful voice. Use that throat chakra more often. Um, you have a beautiful voice, um, whether that's singing, whether that's talking, whether that's narrating, um, whether that's rapping, whatever that this the way you express yourself with your voice is very unique. Um, it's a strength that you have. You could be a smooth talker. You can be a great singer because it says sing here. So you obviously have a great singing voice, pal number two, or just have that potential. So um, I actually want to get clarity on this because, like, did I tell you guys enough about your strengths? Um, your strengths is... <laughs> Really in your ability to express yourself. What is pal number two strengths? Mm -hmm. Okay, pal number two. I just got to say, your throat chakra, you really need to use your throat chakra, pal number two. Um, and stop being so judgmental with yourself and watch out, literally watch out for the people that you have around you um, and make sure like just pay attention. Just the only thing that you need to do is when you're expressing yourself around whoever you're expressing yourself around. Pay attention to their response and how their response or whatever they're doing, just their presence alone. Pay attention to how that makes you feel. Okay, and what are, whatever are you coping, you know, how are you coping with your addictions, okay? Um, something, pile number two strengths, okay, what are pile number two strengths? Oh, two, your discernment could be like one point two. Whether you choose to listen to your intuition or your discernment when you pick out things, you have like great discernment. And look, the turtle shell. So yeah, you could be like a hermit. Someone who is very like closed off. Okay, what are their strengths? What are they good at? <laughs> their strengths. Ooh, pile number two, you're also very persuasive. And you're very useful, okay? Because you can do a lot of things. Mm hmm Faint plan. Yep, you can make things happen. You're very good at, like, making plans. Okay, you're very good at, like, brainstorming. You know, and, and, and revising and editing and things like that. Like making plans. You're very good at. Organization. Order. Things like that. When you're in control, pal number two, you are, you know, things, you are very capable. You feel you're very capable of doing a lot of things. So, um, being like a supervisor or being someone who's like commander in chief that's like really something that you're good at but i feel like it's either your intentions pile number two or the people around you's intentions like look they're like happy but it's like it might be at the expense of other people okay so i feel like you're being greedy and it's like pile number two i'm really trying to focus on your strengths but your strengths are Manip like you are really good at manipulation 
you know what I'm saying, pile number two, you are very good at devising plans, but your plans can sometimes be mischievous or devious. And if you feel like this doesn't apply to you, then this is definitely then this is definitely talking about someone like around you immediately in your circle, maybe plotting against you, planning against you. Um, but this is telling me that your strengths lie in your discernment. I hope that makes sense, pal number two. Um, but yeah, people, are not really people, just really protect your emotions. You are protected. Spirit is protecting you, um, protecting your emotions, bringing you peace and hope. And that could be the, the, your superpower as well. You bring peace and hope. Um, to people just by being there, being in their presence. But there is um, a lot of jealousy around you, pile number two. And I really got to tell you this because that's what's really coming out. So be mindful of who you're speaking to. Be mindful of, of, of the people that you're around. Um, because I don't feel like everyone has your best intentions. Um, you have that quaffle there. That quaffle is saying like, you know, problems. You could be a great at problem solving as well, pile number two. You know, you could be really great at solving people's problems. Yep, and you're really good at getting what you want. You're really good at attracting things into your life, okay? So that's what I have for you, pile number two. I hope that was helpful. If it was, let me know down below, like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe to the vibe, and I'll see you guys next time. And finally, pal number three, if you chose this fisherman guy, I feel like you are very dedicated. I feel like you are very determined. I feel like you are very... Um, I feel like you are very independent as well. Um, you may, uh, yeah. So let's see what your strengths are. You have gambling. So reversal, sparks. Graceful dice. Okay, so you're really good at being lucky. You're really good at um, pile number two, three. Oh my gosh! So you could you could have a message from pile number two, pile number three. Okay, pile number three. Your strength is your ability to really roll the, like follow, following your instincts. That is your superpower. You know, as a fisherman, you're really in tune with, you know, the wind and the sea and the sail and everything like that. So you are really good at paying attention to detail. You are really good at discernment and your intuition is amazing. You are really connected with, um, like your spirit team, um, whether you pay them attention or not, like you are really connected with them. Um, and those have passed on before you. I feel like you are very, um, someone who believes in like legends and tales and fairy tales and things like that. You're not afraid to take chances. You're not afraid to take risks. And that's a really good thing. That's, that's your superpower. That's your strength power. Number three. And so, we have expect powerful change, jump in, and make a vision board. So, your strength is, too, that you are a very visual learner, which makes you a master manifester. You are very brave, in a sense, because you're not afraid to take chances, you're not a afraid to go on an adventure and um you're a very visual learner so make a vision board and with this expect powerful change is you're not afraid of what's on the other side like you're not afraid to take chances you're not afraid to take risks you're someone who is bold who is beautiful who is amazing and who is open and accepting of challenges and changes so that's what i have for you pound number three if you like this video like it subscribe for the vibe and i'll see you guys next time